The Road to 2015. It's a story of pride and passion, of evolution and innovation. The road from success today to greatness tomorrow. This is The Road to 2015. After months of design and development, the new car is nearing completion. Hard labour from everyone involved, but a labour of love. In this final episode, we'll witness the push to prepare the F1 W06 hybrid for its first outing in the real world. We put all the pieces of the jigsaw puzzle together in, the, in basically almost the last few days before it runs for the first time and send it out the door. It's getting all the parts in the right place at the right time with the right people to do the correct job. So this is our job list we've got to work through, pit equipment wise. Like most things will be in over the next couple of days when we can get on with building everything up. Every day there is a sub target, there is a sub task. Everything is properly planned from now to the first race. Silverstone will just be the basic run out, I guess, and then I think for Jerez we're, we're planning on trying to get the miles in as early as possible. You know, we haven't got absolutely all the, the bells and whistles in terms of the, the car setup. It's such a big thing these days, it's grown from being you know, a, a few blokes in a shed almost 20, 30 years ago to what it is today. It's a big operation now. From the darkness of midwinter, the new car finally emerges into the light. All those dreams all that expectation. This is Mercedes' hope for the future. Time to put it to the test. Silverstone, the home of the British Grand Prix. A place of memories, great sporting moments, and now the first outing for the F1 W06 hybrid. Oh, it's a big day for everybody. Um, all the engineers and mechanics, you know, who have been putting so much effort into it, to now see their creation do the first kilometers on the track, you know, and their creation where they hope is going to be, you know, the best car in the world again in F1. Um, I think that all gives them such a, such a boost and such a great moment. What's exciting is a new car, to get in and see what are the strengths and weaknesses of it? How can you translate that, that feeling that you have to the guys? So I'm massively excited about that part and let them know, hey, I'm here, I'm ready to go again. I'm excited to see it. What, is it, you know, what does it look like? Does it look fast? Does it look great? Uh, and then to get the first you know, driving impressions, uh, how it handles and, and all that. So uh, track temps are pretty cold out there. It's uh, down at four degrees, so do take it easy out there. The tentative first steps. The car in motion. You know, first running of a car is brilliant. And um, I kind of also like it because it's, you know, a bit, a bit low key. That's not what, isn't it? No matter what the weather in England, Whenever you come here, it's absolutely freezing. So cold. <laughs> and you think, oh, it must have been the coldest winter day of the whole winter. And you go back and it's like, no, it's just a normal <laughs> day, you know. It's the glamour of it. Yeah. <laughs> 48 hours ago, we thought we wouldn't be here. So I've done really well to recover it. From last Sunday, we had a programme that required 24 hour working of the car to get here. So when we lost, 36 hours due to an issue, there were, you know, there's no headroom for that, but somehow we've recovered it, so good. it's brilliant. I haven't driven the car since the last race, so to get back in and, and, and for the vibration of the engine and all those kind of things, yeah, it's massively exciting. 
everybody knows that we have what it takes to be the absolute best. And we all know how, how awesome that is and how awesome that feels. So that's just giving that extra boost because it's tangible now, you know. Uh, we can do it and we are the best. So let's stay the best. The snow looks quite serious. <laughs> it's the first day in history of a thing, you know. As it happened last year, I remember videoing the car leaving the garage first time, thinking, well, hopefully this is a, the start of something really yeah. great, and it was. When you start a season, you're full of, it's all about hope, and, and you're, you know, everybody's put all this energy and effort into something, and you hope it grows into something really successful. Then, the great British weather intervenes. The F1 W06 hybrid is designed to perform in the harshest conditions around the world. Today, however, snow has stopped play. But the car has performed in line with the team's expectations. This has been a good day. Jerez, Spain. Now the pace moves up a gear. At the first pre-season test, the car will be scrutinized at speed in the company of the opposition. We need to expect all of the other teams to do a great job in the winter, you know, so we need to keep an eye on them. And uh, the usual rivals are Williams, Red Bull, Ferrari, McLaren, and maybe there'll be some other surprises. It's always exciting going back to, back to a racetrack. Um, because this is why we are doing it and we all enjoy being here and this is the start of yet another journey. This is the beginning, the first of a dozen days of testing, but every second of every lap is valuable because in a matter of weeks, battle will be joined at the first race in Melbourne on the other side of the world. Only then will their rivals show their hand. The question's on everyone's lips. Can the Silver Arrows win again? Will all that effort be rewarded? And have they done enough? Of course I want to win. You know, that's, that's the goal every year. I, I can't think of any other engineering occupation that every two weeks you can turn the TV on and see how you're doing. It's hard to put into words when you win a Grand Prix. But it's very, very special. By the end of the first test, the F1 W06 has completed 516 laps, more than any other car. This chapter is coming to an end, but the story goes on.